It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Clotted Cream Cookie and some of the teams that I think he specifically fits into. So the first one being the Kumio Scam Team. Now, traditionally what you'd probably be used to seeing is Kumio, Ginger Brave, Dark Cacao, Caramel Cookie, and Sea Fairy. And that's still a very powerful team. Debatably even still more powerful than Clotted Cream, but I don't have a level Ginger Brave just yet to really test back and forth between them. But... Here's why I think. The Insignia is there for the chance to survive. Because when you're running a team like this with no healers, you're banking on all that damage to happen right away. If you don't happen to get to that point, either you increase that damage using Scythe, which is an option, or Insignia, which is a little safer because, let's say one of your cookies dies, that will at least heal the other four. And so that is a reason why I like to run that. So, let me show you against this team. So, this is a meta team. A Claire, Pomegranate, Cotton, Caramel Arrow, and Dark Cacao using Tax Speed and Scroll. Technically, if they were running Herb, it'd probably be a little bit stronger, but they just may not have an Herb that they can run. So, let's give it a shot. Now, Ginger Brave won't be there to push the team forward. However, Clotted Cookie will be able to take their Dark Cacao and push him to the back of the line giving us full range to deal damage and hit their front cookies. And so that's where we really have the advantage of takeoff. And as you can see, it's just a really tight, tight race here. But then we get that full explosion off our camera arrow, and our insignia takes us to the last second and saves the day. So it's a tight match for sure. It wasn't perfect. Not what you would traditionally expect from the Kumio scam. But it still worked. And here's another thing. I'm currently not getting guild buffs, not until I'm invited to the new guild that I'm transitioning over to. So with the guild buffs, I would actually be running much stronger in comparison to what I'd be running right now because there's a lot of buffs that I don't have that I'm sure that the person I just fought does have. But we'll try again some other people just to give it a shot and see. I want to make sure that I'm finding people that do have similar treasure levels to try and keep it fair and try and give out different teams to fight against to see what we come across. And I know a couple of people that have a Kumio scam team that we can try almost as a mirror match and see what happens. So, your traditional push through, like the skills are firing off in a nice way. We get a lot of damage out very quickly, very fast. And overall, we just we still plow through those tank teams because Cloud of Cookie is removing the tanks from the equation when his skill goes off. And so that's why I like Cloud of Cookie, and that's what I think his main use is for, is just getting the tanks out of the way so that you can hit that middle row. If I haven't shown you already, because I don't believe I did, the toppings I'm personally running for Cloud of Cookie is going to be Solid Almond Build. I want to get this higher, I want to get better percentages on a couple things, but for right now, this is what I could muster up for Cloud of Cookie. I want full damage resistance as I can so that he has enough time to get as many ability stacks off as possible. If you run a full cooldown, yes, you technically have higher chances to get those skills to activate. However, his squishy level is pretty high, so for that reason, it's best to keep him alive. If you can with chocolate, great. I don't know that comp yet, I haven't seen it, but I'd still love your feedback if you want to tell me in the comments how to do that. Please do. Now, another team I do want to run that should have Clotted Cookie in him is this team right here. So this would normally be Frost Queen and Sea Fairy, Herb Cotton Cookie, and Dark Cacao, but we're going to run against that same team and see the differences here, see what we get. So this is not a Kumio scam, this is a... A partial healing team, a partial burst damage team. So, Clotted is going to move Hollyberry to the back, giving us more access to damage out the front units. We've got the healing that's coming from Cotton Cookie and Herb, removing any debuffs that are coming from their end. We're still getting great burst damage from Sea Fairy and Cacao as well. Clotted's going to activate again, pushing Hollyberry to the back, and of course, dealing that amazing damage and full on stuns. And it's still a tight match as far as how Hollyberry wants to persist, but 
we still end up taking it almost at full health because of how fast cotton and herb can heal together in the back there. And we can check over 5 million healing between the two of them. But the damage was great. Now, clearly you can see Sea Fairy and Cacao are carrying the damage. Clotted is not there for a damage cookie. You can technically try to build Clotted as a damage cookie, and yes, there's ways to do so. But the team setup is going to be so difficult that I really don't know if it's going to benefit you. And so that's why I've built Clotted in the sense of damage resistance, so that those skills activate and synergize better with the rest of the team. So let's go ahead and take on someone who I know has a scam team, and we'll see how we fare against them. So where is their team? I always lose track of their name. There we go. So this is a scam team, so we're going to run our scam team, and we are going to see which comes out better. So they're running an Insignia too. The only difference here is that they're running Ginger Brave, and we are running Cloud of Cookie. So let's see what the difference is. And I know that their toppings are very optimized, so it's going to be pretty tough for us, but I'm still interested to see if it works. So we get the charm from Kumio. They do take out Clotted. The Insignia helps heal a couple of our guys. Caramel Arrow starts lighting off. We get the heavy hits. We do lose Dark Cow, so it's all up to Caramel Arrow here to pull this off. It's going to definitely be very close. Oh, down to the Sea Fairy. Okay. All right, that's fair. Yeah, our Caramel Arrow just absolutely was blazing. So... We will switch Clotted to Ginger Brave and see what big difference, if there is, comes from this. Now, in fairness, our Ginger Brave is a lower level and probably lower topping optimized than theirs. But for comparison's sakes, we still need to try and we still need to see what happens. So here we go. So Ginger Brave is going to go fast just like theirs. Kumio is still going to get the charm. Insignia is going to help because Ginger Brave goes down first, healing all the rest of our guys. It's definitely a good match, but as you can see, not close. It's still in more in their favor. Because they have three cookies to our one. And they still have an Insignia too. Yeah, so they did end up going down to Cacao with Insignia instead of Seafair with Insignia. But the overall damage... A little bit higher damage on Caramel Arrow side, but overall it was still tough. So their Sea Fairy is better built than ours, and their Cacao was a little less built than ours. So that's how that kind of fared out between the two of us. But it's a it's a tight toss-up because both perform really nicely. What I love about Clotta Cookie is that the front liners, they're going to get pushed back and get moved out of the way when it comes to the setup. So this is what I'm at least currently running for my scam team. That was against a scam mirror. Scam mirrors are pretty tough on their own anyway. But this is what I'm running for the scam team just because it's helping take care of tanks too. And it's very interesting. You can run whatever you want different, of course. I'd love to hear your opinions. What's your specific team that you love Clotta Cookie in? Have you unlocked Clotta Cookie yet? If you do unlock him, do you plan to use him at all? Or is he too complex that you're just like, no, nah, I don't want to touch him. Either way, first super epic. Definitely interesting to see his abilities. I can't wait to discover more and see what potentials come from him. But for now, this is what my favorite rendition is. And we'll see where it leads from here. Thank you so much for stopping by. You guys have a wonderful day.